Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. We are currently involved in a war to help out our ally. Um, kind of strange how uh, it's like, I don't know. I think it's for this territory, but then uh, he's got, I, I don't know. It's, 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 someone's got land in, I think, his spot where, um, I, yeah, whatever. It's, it's fine. I, I can't I can't even explain it right now. <laughs> I tell little I care. <laughs> but we're gonna go help him, regardless. Uh however, we're also having a little bit of a problem with Flanders coming into attack. Actually it's not Flanders, I think. I think it's the host of Flanders. No no no. My bad. It is actually Flanders. Yeah, Flanders is actually attacking. The Duke of Flanders is attacking for for what? Flemish uh, invasion of Aquitaine and apparently it's not going so well for our liege um, though we'll have to see I'm, I'm assuming he's coming in to help there I don't know why he's not moving this army it's, it's a little strange I'm not gonna lie you should move both at the same time because I think you have the chance to reinforce if these guys come in come on man just look I'm not the master of strategy but even I know that it would be more advantageous if you brought in both I don't know what you're doing, man. I don't. That's why you're at negative forty-six percent. You know, I don't want to ju judge you. You're just a kid. You know, you're just a little boy, Fernando. But I, I think you could do a little better, or your regions could do a little better. Anyways, <laughs> so we've discovered a scout, or no, some pilgrim who apparently uh, could be our doctor. Or should we just go with um, this dude? Yeah, let's just go with that dude. Uh, no, sorry, dude. Pilgrim, dude. Get out of here. Let's go with... Do I want to go with the guy who's deceitful and wroth and cruel? Or maybe just the guy who's greedy but content? Hmm. What to do? Let's go with the guy who loves us. Fantastic. Now, let's go help our allies here. What? Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I mentioned that this guy looks like a character from um, the, the TV show The Affair. It's Noah. That's who it was. Not Norbert or Norman. What's some N name? Come on. I, I knew that. Norbert. Jeez. Uh, do you want me to just stick around with you? Or what's the dealio? Fine. I'll just stick around with you, buddy. But... I want you to know that I think it's better if we just attack them outright. Ah, okay. Court Imam? Come on, dude. How would I bribe you off? How does that sound? Sound good? Crap basket. All of you. Y'all are all crap baskets. Wh oh, you could be my marshal, good man. Uh, yeah, let, let's make you my marshal. What are you good at right now? You are good at absolutely nothing. In fact, you're kind of a moron. No diplomacy. No, no, no intrigue and no learning. Wow. Okay, so after, okay, no, no, no. Continue with uh, learning to be a fucky. And, eh, mm, do we want to piss him off though? I mean, He's a power. No, he's not a powerful vassal. Whoa, look at that. If that's the case, then he won't be too upset that we're not um, putting him on the council. Sure, I guess. Yeah. Uh, powerful vassals and all that crap. Oh, well. Do we want to put him as our. Yeah, sure. Let's just put him as our. as our chancellor. Get him to suck up to our boss. And Court Imam is no one powerful, I don't think, which is kind of a shame. It's kind of a shame we can't um, just willy-nilly change uh, or change um, Court Imams willy-nilly. But oh well. What do you want? Can you be conscientious? Yes. Man, twelve-year-old already depressed. Jeez, I'm sorry. I'm a bad dad, I know, but damn, girl. 
Why can't I imprison him? What did you do? Are you know murder murder or something? Or did you defy me, maybe? Bernardo? Son of not Bernardo? Go ahead, learn um struggle. Uh Lupo? Uh sure. Theodora is apparently not doing so well. She's got the sniffles. Holy crap. She's 13 and she's already ambitious and stubborn. Alright, good job, doctor. Fantastic. Glad I hired you. And can we attack this guy in the near future? Because then that would really round things off for us here. I uh, can't get another vassal. I mean, I could... I could give away some of these, um, some of these minor holdings. Might not be a bad idea, especially if I build a castle here. I'll definitely need to, because uh, I want the big bonuses here. I like big bonuses. I cannot lie. But otherwise, I think we might want to... <sighs> Do I want to build cities or mosques? I think I want to build a city. Because they want the money. So how about I build, um... Cities in these two spots. Oh, no, no. Should I? Or should I build uh, castles in those spots? No, no, let's build a castle in those spots. And build... A city in the other, um... Counties where I have direct control. How does that sound? Oh, court imam. What are you doing, you jerk face? Dick monster. Can we imprison you? We can. What the hell is your business? Why can't I imprison you? Well, let's not try to attack him just yet. Or try to imprison him just yet. Because, um, I, I kind of need my troops to be on top of him. Can we? Actually? Well, how does my ally feel about me just kind of like bowing out for a little bit? Cause I, I'm helping you, man. I have 48%. Yeah, let's just leave it for now. And then we'll, um... You know, we'll, we'll sort that out later on, I think. Or physician? Can I not have someone who's... Ah, uh, jeez. He's also greedy, though, so there's that. Mmm... Do I just reappoint the guy that I just fired? <laughs> uh, who's the... Oh, they're both 33. They're both pretty young. Shit, I was kind of hoping that they'd be old so that in case, um, I made a bad decision there, <laughs> they could, I could look forward to them dying sooner. But, uh, apparently not. Alright, well, um, hmm. Let's get our doctor on this. And, uh, I don't know. This feels wrong reappointing the guy that I just fired. Not that I really play this game according to what I think is right. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, right? Smallpox. Who do we have here that's... Okay, maybe you guys shouldn't be leading troops there now. <coughs> Who the hell died? Why do I care? Do I give a shit about you? Uh, trick question. The answer is no. You can study, or can be thrifty. And you can also be thrifty. You guys are twins. Huh, weird. But you don't look alike at all. Must be, uh, fraternal twins or whatever. My god, why do I keep getting daughters named Irma? Yes, I have a quick son. Wait, quick grandson, rather. Um. Fafila? Sitara? I can't have too many daughter granddaughters named Ermagerd, so... You are not Sun... Suniero. Uh, you know what? You are our Bernardo. As well. There's way too many Bernardos. So there's blonde Bernardo, and then there's... Uh, Dark haired or black haired Bernardo. Cool. Ah, dude, why would you take the river crossing penalty, man? Why? Just, just why? What the hell, Ashav? 
You crap basket? What, is... Is life not good enough for you? You have to also be decadent and shit? Asshole. Who died, by the way? Uh, my wife apparently died comatose in bed. Well... Things like- those things happen, you know? It's... It's beyond my control. And we have this lady that we can now marry, I think. Yes, let's do it. And I think we need another- another wife. Let's get another wifey poo up in here. How come you haven't- you have not given me any children? What's up with that, lady? I bring you in, uh, I give you my food, the best of my, uh, bangings, and you give me nothing. How dare you. Who- with whom would I have a... A pact here? Wait, with this guy? Wait, wait, no, 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 don't go- Don't keep going back! I need to know who, uh... With whom I'm... Forging some non-aggression pact. Baron Idris... Of Tar- Alright, I mean, if it's- If it's a Baron, then I guess it doesn't really matter. You'd be with you, right? Where are you? Down there? Yeah, sure. You know what? Let's do it. Let's uh, marry some lady. Get some good old stewardship all in there. Although, their stats don't really matter because they're secondary and tertiary wives and whatnot. The White Stag. Lately, you have heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers in the wilds that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. It's a White Stag, powerful and elusive. The common folk claim it comes from another world and that the hunter who claims it will be imbued with divine power. Let's do it. Hopefully we'll succeed this time, because as I mentioned in a, in a comment, um, I've only ever seen it succeed like maybe once or twice. It was quite epic. Yusuf, the stuttering child, has actually become a great eminence. Holy shit. Damn, you've defied all odds, my son. And uh, yeah, be ambitious. And you didn't. Congratulations, you disappointed me for the last time. Uh, that implies that I'm actually going to do something against you? I'm not. Uh, I'm just going to watch you fail miserably for the rest of your life. I'm assuming. Alright, good news my lord. We have received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag in the county of Zaragoza. Fantastic. Does anyone live in this supposed county? What's the, uh... What's, what's it like here? Is it... All foresty and you know, apparently it's just kind of plainy. Well, fine, whatever. Apparently, there's a dull pain behind my eyes. Smallpox? What? But I'm not even leading troops anywhere. Oh God, no. Where am I? Oh, oh God, no. Oh. Oh, I made a terrible mistake. Apparently, uh... I guess I drank hot water with red paint chips. Fantastic. Ah, shit. I should've... Damn it! I should've uh, resigned from the council and... Oh, this sucks. I have smallpox. I now have a fever. Oh god, this might be the end of me. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay because um, we have a falafel here to uh, to to look after the realm. If I if I pass on into into the great beyond, ah, oh, jeez. His stats aren't nearly as amazing as mine, though. So that's kind of unfortunate. But oh, jeez. Holy crap! Look at this smallpox just ravaging all of Spain. Can we please shut the gates? Like this is bad. This is. Fuck. Is it because I'm hunting? Get back from your freaking hunt, man! Oh, jeez, no. Monio the Sea Devil? Um, my life is in your hands. Please, cure me. Monio buckled the last strap securing you on the table, on the operating table. I will not lie to you, my lord. This will be excruciatingly painful, but it must be done. He tried to protest when Monio brought out the saw, but due to the calming potion he made you drink, he slurred the words beyond comprehension. You cut off my hand for no fucking reason? When did you become my court physician? 
I didn't have you my court as my court physician. I had someone better. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Wh He's not my court physician. Why the fuck aren't I going to this guy who doesn't have smallpox? You son of a bitch. Uh, can we get brawny? Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Crusader Kings 2 does it again. We lost our hand, and suddenly we're brawny. I mean, it's the, the two aren't related, but still, it's just... We're out on a, on a hunt, we contract smallpox, so then we decide to uh, go to my liege's doctor, and then I subsequently have my hand cut off, I'm severely injured, and then I get brawny. My god, am I lifting weights whilst I have, like, a bleeding stump of my hand? Holy crap, I'm, like, so freaking hardcore. I'm gonna be super jacked by the end of this. Alright, let's shut the gates. Let's at least make sure that our family stays safe, because, um... This is little cray-cray, guys. Little cray-cray. This is nuts, holy shit. Okay, guys, do you, do you mind ending the war? Like, wow. Zaragoza is prospering. Fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. You guys suck. You guys suck for making me do that. Although, I, I guess my liege sucks even more because he's the one that um, forced me to, to be in Cordoba or whatever. Yeah, Cordoba. And thus making me contract smallpox. Ah, shit. This needs to go away. Gonna get that thing about pickled boar's head again. So, Emperor Fernando has finally come of age. Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess who can blame him? I, I, I suppose I should have read that, but... Uh... You want the r ruler title revocate? Uh, no. That would not serve me. So, I'm gonna say no. Okay, can I seek treatment for my illness? Let's do it. Alright, I'm back at my actual doctor. Uh, doctor, my life is in your hands, please. Count Aguila made you dr drink a draft of poppy before strapping you down on his operating table. You almost dozed off while he prepared his instrument. But when he raised a scalpel towards your eye, you felt wide awake. I'm sorry, my lord, but we must remove the root of the problem. So at least I was successfully treated of uh, smallpox. But now I have no eye, and so I'm feeling a little less humble about life. Fantastic. And how did you get that law passed? I mean, I guess I was not the only counselor, but holy shit. What the hell is this? Maybe this is, um, like, historical justice for what the, uh, Spaniards did to the, um, to the native Central Americans in, um, well, in, in like, you know, well, not Central Americans then, I guess the native, uh, Aztec and, um, Mayans, because, you know, they, they like to spread their smallpox blankets all over, uh, American stuff. Anyways, I try to get a good night's sleep, but I'm tormented by horrible and recurring nightmares of our people. The pleas for their, for help and the hurtful words begin to get to me. Well, you're a disfigured, one-handed, one-eyed crap basket who's probably not really long for this life. So how about you just stay in seclusion? And he didn't gain Craven. Maybe because he has too many stats or something? I have no idea. Holy shit, but I'm starting to realize that maybe we should invest in a hospital? That might not be a bad idea. Um, Ashav? Would you mind straightening up, you sack of shit? Okay, okay, well, I was kind of hoping that Ashav would say no, and that I'd be able to imprison him, but uh, apparently he's decided to straighten up, so... Congratulations, I guess. Holy crap. Well, at least our liege is winning against the, um, invasion. Oh my god. The entire Iberian Peninsula. Holy shit! Guys, it's the Spanish influenza. My god. I, I mean, I don't mean to make light of, um, that deadly, deadly disease that, you know... Killed so many lives at the end of World War II and all that stuff, but still. 
Or was it the end of World War One? I? I think it was the end of World War Two, as far as I'm aware. We're gonna try to make you a commander because you're my bastard grandson, Argilo. You're my beautiful, beautiful daughter. Be a spy, because I think that's useful. Maybe not. I have no idea. Catholic uprising, unacceptable. Get out of here, Catholic uprising. We don't want you here. Uh, yeah, I'm completely okay with you secluding yourself, buddy. Just stay safe. And uh, apparently we have inherited the mosque of... Where? This place. That's fine. Oh my god. When is this gonna go away? Oh god. The horrific wound from your maiming is now stinking and oozing pus. So sexy. The pain is debilitating and the courtiers are avoiding you like death itself. At least I'm not severely wounded, but uh, that infection look is... My health is looking pretty bad, guys. <laughs> oh my god. It might be the end of me. It might be the end of me. Truces. Oh, right. We have a truce with you? When do we get a truce with you? Dangerous faction? Guys! What the hell? I'm always bribing you and shit. You know what? Maybe this is actually encouraging them to, um... To, to try to blackmail me and shit. Unacceptable. Well, just you wait. My levy is somewhat replenished. Shit, what the... Got the great pox. Well, it's fine, like... It's like a family thing. Ah, oh, jeez, really? Why did you go to my doctor and say that you want, like, the severe treatment, buddy? Dumbass. Don't do that. Okay, apparently, uh, we are not being very good Muslims and eating pickled boar's heads. And our food is, uh, starting to dwindle. How did you die of syphilis? Or did you die from the severe injury? I'm guessing you died of the severe injury. That's okay. I didn't really expect much of you. And uh, lo and behold, you have done exactly what I... Son of a bitch. No pickled boar's head. So now we are starving and... Uh... Okay. We are generally well-liked, right? And the reason I'm asking this is because... A sudden clatter sends you running to check on your food supplies. You arrive at the storeroom just in time to she see Shifta emerge, wiping at her mouth. You greedy bitch. You were the wife of who? I don't even know who this guy is. Why the hell are you in my court? Unacceptable. Uh, General opinion, negative 10? Bam. We are now the cannibal. Duke Jez the Just, who has no face, one hand, and one eye, is a cannibal with an infection. <laughs> That's... That's... Oh... Oh... Dude... Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Another one. That's it. Let's do it. We're just gonna eat our courtiers until we get through this. And, uh... With food supplies dwindling, it has been brought to your attention that the basements of Burgos contains... ...contain a large number of rats which could, which could be caught and eaten. Let's do it. Well, we're cannibals. I'm pretty sure we're not exactly above eating rats. Although, I don't know. If there's any cannibals out there, do you, in fact... ...would you stoop to eating rats? Or is that kind of like... ...do you consider that to be beneath you? Apparently our rebels are actually, or, yeah, our rebels are actually fighting off the Vikings. <laughs> well, you know, it's, uh... Good God. People are just dropping like flies here. Another Chancellor? Well, we'll wait until the smallpox is all gone from our land, and then we'll, um, appoint a new dude here. Oh my God. How did you die? Just died of severe stress, you just couldn't handle it. 
he couldn't handle working for a cannibal. He was just always looking behind his back. And every time I went over for a hug, he was just super scared that I might pull like a Mike Tyson or like a vampire thing on him. So he's just constantly looking over his back, looking over his shoulder. Uh, looking over his back, that would be more like an, um, uh, what's that movie? The, uh, it starts with an EX. Exit? It's Exit? No. Ah, oh, shit. What's that thing? When, when, uh, like a priest comes by and then extortionist? No, son of a bitch. Uh, Exorcist. That's it. It was on the tip of my tongue. What the hell was I talking about Exorcist? Oh, it's because I said that this guy was looking behind his back. It's like, yeah, no, it wasn't looking behind his back like the Exorcist. Like the little girl from Exorcist, rather. But rather, he was, um, constantly looking over his shoulder, making sure that he was super stressed anytime I was around because he was afraid that I might uh, take a big bite out of him. Which I think he was uh, right to be afraid of because, you know, he's a martial dude. He's kind of strong. He's got a lot of muscle on him. Fantastic. Finally, we can open the gates. Nice. From this experience, we have gained the cannibal trait, which I have longed to possess. Some people aren't too happy about me, but that's not because I'm a cannibal or no murderer, it's because they don't have a seat on my council. But knowing what you know about my uh, newfound taste in food, are you sure you want to be on my council? Because you look like you have a luscious head of hair, which of course means that you are in fact healthy, right? Any, uh, any medical students or doctors out there who could confirm this, that if you, in fact, have a luscious head of hair, that you are probably healthy? I'm guessing. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I have no idea. What the hell was I talking about? While pondering over the guest list? Okay, yeah, sure. Let's invite, um, I guess he's still, he's aging Hitler to our banquet. What? When... Were you ever not... I don't... Who are you? I mean, if you were in fact my spy master in the past? Like, congratulations? Oh no, he just went into hiding because of the, um... No, he went into seclusion. Okay, I get it. Ah, jeez. Yeah, shove! You're my half-brother, but you, you hate me. So, let's not. In fact, let's go with, uh... Falafel? Yeah, let's go with Falafel as our, uh, marshal. Um, get him to trade some troops. My, your infection has put you in grave danger on multiple occasions. The pain and foul smell have finally subsided, and your wound looks clean. Holy crap. Despite all odds, I am weathering this like a champ. I tried rushing- I- okay. So- Alright, never mind. I'll, I'll read this. I rushed around trying to get everyone to work harder, not smarter, to get everything ready to, for the banquet when the guests started to arrive. I waited impatiently for Count Gilen, but still did my best to make sure every guest felt welcome and found its designated table, a uh, place at my table. And old, um, white-haired, small, two-pronged beard Hitler never showed up. Uh, kind of a shame. Because he's our buddy. Homies for life and all that. Or are you too busy maybe hitting your wife? And don't mean hitting as in like violent, but you know, are you too busy banging your aging wife? Or maybe it's your younger wife that you're banging? I don't know. Bros before hoes, man. Bros before hoes. How dare you? Not to imply that these women are hoes, but you know. Okay, I don't really care who embraced Sunni Islam. Whenever I talk to women nowadays, I can tell that they are bothered by my missing eye. Are you really sure that's what they're bothered by? Are you 100% sure that they're bothered by your missing eye and not your missing hand and missing face and that ugly ass mask? Are you sure about that? Because I, I don't think that's what they're bothered by. How do they even see which eye you're missing? Are you, are you 100% sure about that? Because I, I, I don't, I don't think that's quite right. But anyways, it has shaken my confidence and I often feel awkward when interacting with them. 
However, I have heard of a pioneer who crafts very lifelike prosthetic eyes. Perhaps this is the solution to my problem? Let's do it. We lose 26 gold. Fantastic. Is that cheap for uh, for eyeballs? For glass eyes? I have no idea. I've, it's been a while since I've gotten a glass eye for myself. You know, my eyeball tends to regenerate every few years and whatnot, so... Apologies to anyone who actually is missing an eye. That's maybe an insensitive thing to say. Anyways, let's, uh... Get some castle walls going in this bitch. Mosque town? When did we get a mosque? Oh, I guess someone probably died for it, eh? Oh well, cool. Anyways, that's gonna have to be it for our uh, episode. Uh, that has been quite eventful. <laughs> Duke Jez just keeps hanging in there. Holy crap, man. And he's still considered attractive. <laughs> this is incredible. Holy shit. And it actually overrides, or not overrides, but slightly negates the disfigured thing. Oh, man, that's awesome. Holy shit, you know what? It actually negates um, all of these combined. So it just ends up being a zero. <laughs> that's fantastic. Holy crap, look at that. Plus 30, minus 20, minus 5, minus 5. That's awesome. But yeah, let's leave the episode off here as we're currently out of time. But uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow for some more Crusader Kings 2. So thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.